Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Morocco. Whoa. So, guys, we're back here in another episode of today where, as you guys know, we had a good war with Castile last episode where they took an important center trade of Tangiers. Um, I kind of realized off screen that this is probably where all my trade power went of this node. So, yeah, in this node, we have basically no trade power. So. You know, that kind of stinks. I will not deny I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact I have, like, no trade power here, but... Like I said, I didn't really... You know, I didn't really expect to really gain the power of this trade. No, this is... This is way too oversaturated with already big European powers. And at this point in time, I cannot compete with them, so... I was okay with that. But anyways... Anywho, now that we have, uh... Oh gosh, that is way too many cavalry. <laughs> Men, come back to the cavalry! Okay, but now since we've just kind of relaxed and done a quick war with our hated enemies of them, let's get our trade ships back into different sectors to start, you know, patrolling and gaining trade and doing all the cool stuff that all the cool, you know, ships are doing. You know what I mean, guys. So, let's do that, Tunis, and there we go. Uh, any other ships? No, I think that's all my ships. So, yep, there we go. Continuing on. Uh, we are now trading more. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. We have lost the effects of trading in slaves. What? Okay, wait, 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 what? So, somebody else has gotten the trading... Okay, who? Who has beaten us in terms of strategic goods and trades and slaves? Not that I really care about being the leading producer in slaves, but I want to know. Okay. Wait, that makes no sense. If we're the leading producer in this, how are we not getting... You know what? I'm not going to question this. <laughs> hallelujah, everyone! We're not the leading producer in slaves! Yeah, hallelujah. Okay, and then... Oh, there we go. There's our bonuses to slavery again. Huzzah! Oh, gosh. I don't know why, but I feel kind of icky right now, guys. Just give me, like, give me a second. Um, I don't remember. Are we guys still allied with these guys? I don't think so. Um, we cannot form an alliance. They will probably not accept rivalry attitude towards... Oh, they rivaled us. Lovely. Have you guys rivaled us? No. Alright, we are now friends. Let's see, why don't you guys like us? Uh, because we haven't diplomatically improved relationships with you guys in a while. So, yeah, we could become... We're gonna become his best buds with the Ottomans again. Because the Mamluks are having a hissy fit. Although, it actually is very good that they're having a hissy... Oh, gosh. Okay, it was a good thing that they're actually having a hissy fit with us right now. Because, you know, if I want to expand into more land, I, logically speaking, they're the next land I need to expand into. Uh, also down into the Mali, of course, but they're also the next land I need to expand into because if I want to get all of... I think my ultimate goal in this let's play is to try to get all of Africa and become like the first like unified African nation. So to do that, I'm going to need lots of help and I'm going to stop colonizing down here and start colonizing down to Sierra Leone so that we can start gaining more and more colonies over here because I really don't want the British or whoever wants to try to attack me. Over extension, just make some more cores. There we go. I really don't want the uh, people to come down here into Africa. I want to basically be the only African nation down here. Well, I want to be the only nation of the. I want to be the only European nation colonizing. That's that's not right either. I want to be the only nation colonizing down here. There we go. That is co politically correct in almost any way possible, shape or form. Okay, why aren't you guys doing anything? Because you guys are a fleet full of just cogs and galleys. Just go right here and save yourself. So, let's see. Do we have a maximum force limit right now? No, we do not. And we don't even have enough troops right now. Um, we're almost there to, to more ex exploration ideals, which I'm going to keep getting because we're just we're really just trying to take down the all the, like, uh, ideals group right now. Like, seriously. We're trying to get to that maximum right here, the permanent causes Belai against Pagans, that way we can start warring against all these people over here, like the Hansa, the Oyo, the Benin, and you know, the Ashanti, Ashanti, you know, all those guys, we're going to start warring against them all crazy like and cool like, and I think Ethiopia is orthodox, 
makes sense about now because yeah, it makes sense about now. So yeah, we're gonna go send my troops down there, and yeah, we're just gonna wait here. Um, we have absolutely no stability, which is usually a sign that we might die, but I think it's a good sign that we should build more temples. <laughs> Because temples usually help you out in the long run. We can also build some more local trade modifier too. Um, but I think temples are a little bit more helpful. So let's see. What has the highest trade value? Right uh, here would be best. Bye bye. Let's go. Oh, high speed. Intense. So Leon has just been damaged. Well, I have troops over there now. They just arrived as soon as my colony died. Okay, well, I got troops over here. So now my colony should not die. We're gonna be fine now, guys. We're gonna be fine. You can all cool your heads. My troops are now over there. I don't think there's ever gonna be a problem ever again. Okay, and now Castillo knows about this place over here, which means... Ah, oh, gosh dang. Can I support two colonies? Uh... Hmm. I might be able to. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just move over there. Let's wait until the colony gets about 100%. Let's see, a 1% base tax plus 20%. I could possibly, I think it could possibly support two colonists right now, which I think is what we're going to have to do if we want to keep, you know, expanding our land. Because we're going to have to quickly block up all the major world powers before they, like, become all big and stuff. So let's try it. Let's try it. If I start really losing money, I'll stop the uh, second colony there, but... I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Non-enforcement of ordinances! Little study for administration power! Or 10.00 revolt risk insert! Eh. I don't really care. I'm still waiting for, like, the Europeans to catch up to me. Okay, so I'm still in positives. And, like I thought, I could barely support a second colony. Like, which means I should probably be very frugal with my money. Just in case if something really bad were to happen. Like, insanely, insanely bad. So, I'm just going to, yeah. I think the better option here is just to hold on to my money for as long as possible. Because I'm not going to be gaining much in a long time soon. And the Mali Revolt! Uh, let us try to negotiate. Uh, local tax modifier. Eh. It's only for like one year. I lose some money. But that's why I made sure I did not spend my money, people, is because that thing could happen. So, yeah, but we're going to be expanding slowly and surely down into the lower Mali land. Hopefully, what I'm gonna, what I'm hoping is that also Mali will actually become an accepted culture of mine, because that would make conversion of all this so much easier. It'd make my life so much easier if, if my people could just be like, "Yeah, we accept Mali. We 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 just accept it." And apparently, we're having some difficulties. So let's just stop supporting, uh, let's see, what's the most costing right now? Uh, yeah, we could go about 60%, there we go. That way we're not too much hindered by stuff. Apparently we have some free stuff, the, I was still improving relationship with the Mamelukes, I don't know why. They are hostilely threatened towards us, but they hate us. Uh, right now they're at war, so I'm guessing that they might want an alliance with us. They might, I'm not sure, but they might. So let's see, do you guys want an alliance with us? Uh, no. And I know the perfect way to become friends with you. Let's see, are we already... I think we're already like... No, we do not. Okay, we're not... We, we haven't made the Golden Horde one of our enemies. We're the Golden... Oh. Why are you a rival to the Golden Horde, Ottomans? I mean, they're just a one province minor, but... You know what? I don't judge, so... Let's try this. Okay. Uh, what is it? What is it? What was it? What was it? What was it? There we go. Go right here. Go to diplomacy. Go right here. Go to here. A rival with the Mali. I just realized that. Rival these guys. And I'll wait for the sweet, juicy benefits from being friends with the Ottomans. Enemy of enemy. It's going to take a little bit for the full effects to come in. But it will come in. And once they do, it'll be really, really awesome. Okay. Colonies are going pretty good, which is awesome to see. Uh, a new sultan! Finally, we got a new sultan, and we just got a new idea group. Uh, militaristic ideas, we do want to tech up that, because then, you know, cavalry cars would be big for us. And national modifier, ooh. National modifier, oh, that's going to be helpful in the long run. Okay, 
So now the Ottomans are completely happy with us. Okay, off the lines. Sweet! Yes! Okay, we're back to being buddy buddies with the Ottomans! Huzzah! I don't know who that war with. They're at war with Kazan. A Kazan. Uh, that is over here. Well, they're, they're going over here, so I'm assuming the war is over there, but it's really not a concern, so let them fight their, their war, and we're just going to chill out over here in our land. Not really do much, just kind of be like, meh, you know, meh stuff. I mean, we do have 2,000 men, and those our treaties with the Mali ended yet. They're creating a coalition against us, too, so that means they're pretty much very happy to be hated by us. Um, aggressive expansion-wise, we are doing pretty badly, but... Uh, no, we could definitely go to war with these guys again. So, you know, let's get right onto it. Let's start fabricating claims onto their land so that we can casually and unequivocally take them over. Because that's just what we do as the mighty, uh, um, Moroccoans. Speaking of which, how are my European relationships? Well, with France, they basically do not hate me. Which is good, I want to make sure that continues, because there might be a chance of me getting out of alliance with them in some unforeseen future, so it's good that I will keep a good open mind about that. Um, what else? They finally, oh. Well, that was kind of stupid of the Mali. They, as soon as I start thinking about actually trying to go to war against them, they enter in, they enter out the coalition against me. That's... Very good that you guys just don't hate me anymore, but I am going to destroy you, don't worry. I wasn't, like, done or anything. It's going to happen. It's just going to happen a little bit later. Um, speaking of which, what's going to happen a little bit later is we're going to have to get our military back up to full spending, too, so... It might be a good idea to, like, get, get only one colonist at a time, too, when that happens, but... I could try to ease the tension, which gives me a bunch of relations, or gain a diplomat's... No. I do not have enough power right now to fight against Castile again. And grain is producing is producing grain on the grain coast. Gosh dang, I love it when words actually mean what they what they say. Like when they talk about the grain coast, they really mean this is the grain coast. We get a Cosmos Belli, good. I'm gonna wait until all my course finish, because then that gives me lots and lots of new things. More chances for Molly to become an accepted culture. I'm really hoping it's gonna happen. Oh, and I got some of the, the gold mines, which should help with my economy. Yes, means I can finally go back to full maintenance on men too. Okay, I got a diplomatic attack reputation, which is good, and it seems like we could possibly support actually attacking the uh, Mali right now. So let's see. They have diplo diplomatically no alliances, so. <sighs> Molly, you're gonna be really easy no matter what we do. Even if I try to fight really like light, you guys are gonna be like easy. So let's just try to take all the land we want. I think this time we're gonna take like these four provinces. And then from there we're gonna see what else I want. But let's just go in. Uh, I didn't even check what the militaristic ratings are. I'm doubting not very strong. Um, I think I'm gonna divide up this army. And then divide up this army. Uh, go this way. And what we're basically going to do is make a gigantic new army. Slaves! Oh gosh, dang it, why am I producing slaves? I, I seriously wish I could put it in my constitution, aka no slaves. That is my one rule. If you live under me, that is my one rule. It's like, uh, well, there is also multiple rules, like, thou, sh thou shalt not uh, be Christian, thou shalt not be uh, heathenist, and thou shalt not be, uh, uh, Riverist. I don't know. Alright, now we got that, let's go destroy the army. I don't know. That's that's my short answer, I don't know. So let's just block up their whatever armies that do try to form, we just kind of block them up right here. Uh, if they want to get to us, they're going to have to go through uh, uncharted lands, and trust me, the uncharted lands I think would kill them quicker than it would ever help them. Improvement-wise, we can build a second raft stuff. Which is honestly like, if you guys have ever known me, that is really my focus. Is I want to make sure there's always a second rampart in every single one of my places. That way, it'll take people way longer to seize down everything. I don't necessarily care about like level 3 or 4s because I think they're kind of just stupid, but... Yeah, you see? Look at that! <laughs> they're having such a difficult time trying to attack my colonies. 
and more men for the military. A policy of favoring quantity over quality is paying off as of today, yet more men come from available for the army. That was anticlimactic, but gain 25 man manpower and amber, gain 5,000 manpower. Thank goodness. It's a good thing my people, my Minutemen are talking quick and stirring up millions of people to the cause of the Moroccoians, which is honorable and just. And no one else can do, no one else can argue that claim because I make sure they die before they do that. So, um, we destroy this army right here, which then gives us a chance to move right there, which gives us a chance to move right there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful conquest. Just, it's just so beautiful. Okay, let's go right here. And we'll siege down a lot of his land again. Invited to the El Fair. Fez is now happy with us. Speaking of which, how much longer do we have until we can start, like, incorporating Fez into a happy, a happy land? Let's see. Uh, you cannot ask it. Okay. I'm right now at war, so I can't annex them, but I'm assuming very soon I could do that. Like, I would assume, like, very, very soon. Lose piety, but what do I want to lose? Prestige? Eh, I could lose some prestige. Okay, go out here. And I know that's a really stupid decision, but it really doesn't matter to me at this point, because I have enough prestige and stuff to keep me going for a while. And it seems like they have absolutely no men. Or all the men are taking a really long way around, which is... Uh, quite honestly, one of the stupidest things they could ever do. So we're just gonna siege everything in the land just all at once. Completely block them up. And the siege of Jin is over. This is gonna go on for a really long time, people. So just pull up a chair and watch the sieges all finish up really nice and quietly. Uh look at all these sieges. Boom. I mean I could probably peace out right now, but I, I kinda enjoy the feeling of just sieging down lesser powers than you. It, it feels just so satisfying. Hmm. And Sarah Leone has finished. So, wait, not Sarah Leone. The Grain Coast is finished because it actually had a colonist. So we'll move on to the Ivory Coast, which is then going to give us a good access to the Gold Coast. So let's move on to there. Do -do. The Siege of Timbuktu is over with. One more, and then we can basically ask Morocco to do whatever we want. There we go. We defeat all the natives. Okay. Mali, it's time to negotiate a peace. So, what could we, we could probably not get full annexation in this war, which kind of stinks, so we go do 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 do, okay, uh, what else could we do, release Song Han, hmm, quite frankly, that might be a good move, releasing Song Hai. more vassals to attack, I don't know. It would give me a chance to vassalize them next time. But I kind of want the land now. Hmm. But the admin tech to do all this is going to be pretty expensive, and let's be frank, the overextension is going to kill me. So let's take all the gold, and I think I'll just take this. There we go. Now we get a conquest of Belai. Go back right here. Let's see, what are you guys? Songhai is Sunni. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I was kinda hoping they might be animus. They might help us. I thought they were gonna help us expand, but apparently not. Um they entered a remote Good job guys, you entered another militaristic military coalition against us. It's always good when you guys do that. Because it always makes me so happy. Uh so then the militaristic coalition against us again. Uh, more natives are rising up in that land. Uh, can we kill them all? Yes. Good job, soldiers. I don't know how many are over there, but they seem to be doing a good job. We got more money, I think. Yep, more money. Which means now we can build more stuff. Uh, quite personally, I think I'm going to build more temples just to increase the wealth of a lot of places. Let's see what else needs to be wealthy. I could be wealthy. And... Well, I think we're about to wrap it up, people, so I want to thank you guys for watching another fun-filled episode of Conquest and Colonizing. It's I think this is probably what I'm going to be doing in the future and just, you know, just slowly and surely working my way around the entire African coastline. When the Ottomans definitely go to war with the Mamelukes for, 
I would assume unforeseen reasons. Wink, wink. Um, we're going to be in that war, happily obliging our services, and probably taking all this. So, yeah. What, what is even right here, by the way? Just so I know. Ooh. I like Alexandria and Rashid. These two promises are really worth a lot. So is Cairo, but I think it's because it's the capital. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.